United we stand the faith, divided we fall. Unity is the only way to survive. Africa unite. Africa unite for the sake of the economy. Unite for the sake of peace. Yes, unite for the sake of your children. Stop listening to your leaders, Africa. Because all of them are after money. And yes, they use divide and rule. When you're busy fighting, you're busy taking all the money out of the country. That is why America will always be the world's policeman, because they are all united, just at all times, everything. In schools, a student can't perfect a nation if teachers are not united. In a hospital, no patient can survive if doctors and nurses are not united. Even in crime, no crime can be robbed if the facts are not united. And of course, in politics, no alliance can succeed if the leaders are not united. When I look at Africa, my poor Africa, oh, I wonder what they would say. I wonder what the leaders would say if only God came today. What would they say about the genocide in Kigali? Where thousands of people were killed, mislessly. What would Moy say about the detention of university students? What would Moy say about killings? What would Moy say about rigging elections came after him? What would Kabila say about thousands of people made homeless by the stupid war happening in Congo? What would Mugabe say about the tens of Zimbabwean soldiers dying in Congo when economy is dancing in Zimbabwe? Sending soldiers to war while he's busy relaxing with his little wife. What a shame. Respect my green jungle fire on sister in Zimbabwe. What would President Kaba say about the hundreds of people killed in Sierra Leone? Yes, what would the Chuma say about his work when Nigeria crying of poverty? Look at African leaders. They really want to be told by a white man about how to love his fellow black brother. What a shame. When will they ever learn? How many examples do you need, African leaders? When Julius Nyerere was quitting power, Dr. Banda was busy destroying opponents. When Mandela was busy packing all his blankets from the palace, Moi was busy rigging another election for the fifth term. When Abu Bakr, the hero in Nigeria, was giving out power to Obasanjo, Mugabe is busy gathering diamond at the expense of taxpayers in Congo and Zimbabwe. Africa unite! Africa unite for the sake of your children! Africa unite! Africa unite! Now coming back home to Malawi, home sweet home. Malawi unite. Unite for the sake of your economy. Yes, unite for the sake of peace. Unite for the sake of your children. Yes, this is time we call a fair state. Malawians staying in the north, in the central, in the south. This is time to forget the past. Yes, forget the past for a brighter future. Look at the people in the north. Voting massively for a man they don't even know as long as they have been taught by Chakufa to do so. Look at the people in the south, voting in some useless members of parliament as long as they are union. Yes, I give thanks and respect to the people in the central, because I can see they choose whom they want, not whom they are taught to vote for. But believe me, take it or leave me, Malawi can never go far economically if our politics continue being of racism, fascism, nepotism, regionalism, and of course, tribalism. Look at our offices today. When the general manager is a yao, then all the way down to the messenger will be yao. When the director is a tumuka, all the way down to the cleaner will be tumuka. This is pathetic. This wakwit, akumun, amangwe too, wakwadiyaji, must stop. It doesn't matter where.
where you come from, as long as you are Malawian, you have the right to equal privileges. Why should Northern and chase you out from the region? Who told you that North means Kumbuka, and Central means Chewa, and South means Yahoo? Stop making people refugees in their own country. And leaders in the North, oh, you must feel ashamed of you. Yes, Mr. Opposition Man, we are pretty tired of you and your cause now. Because for every little story, it has to go to court. Now for even reasons, they have to go to court. I don't care which wrong or right. It's none of my business as far as I can see. But I think Malawi has got politicians who can lose this country as opposed to wait for judges. If this is the case, why don't we have the judges sitting now in the Sanjita to rule us? The people in the villages vote for president and MPs. But only decisions are coming from courts. It makes no sense to them. We're tired of this one-man decision. It is very easy for a judge to be bribed than it is for a president to be bribed. It's time to make our own decision. To be fair, referendums are much better than man-made decisions in court. One other sad thing is when we go to parliament. Oh, it sounds like an Apollo cannot have in these days. When an opposition member of parliament speaks, government MPs make funny noise. Then how do you expect the opposition to contribute to the nation building exercise? When all you do is make noise and disturb them from being able to contribute. And you the opposition. How do you expect to be held up in your constituencies when instead of listening to the ministers as they talk, you are busy opposing whatever the ministers say? You, you dear, you are also a cause of some stupid things happening in our country. After a property stage, we hear that the violence in Zuzu were also started by a man who should be exemplary to the people. I can't understand a man after winning elections, he goes and thrown an office of another political party. And what becomes popular is only the reaction of the people who lost the elections, but again they're being provoked. So while we blame the northerners for chasing southerners, we also must blame some UDF youth for provoking the situation. Take it or leave it. I know the truth ends. Yes, we suggest to the government that for unity, Thou should not let anybody lose their job for being an alliance sympathizer. It's a fact that in a multi-party country, not all the people can love one party. You should accept that even in the time of one party system, some people had to sympathize with the UDF. That is why UDF got in power. So it's not wise to accuse the people that look to have sympathized with the alliance. You should consider that they were only trying to safeguard their jobs. And politicians must be blamed for politicizing the people's savings in Malawi. Every government wants to come in with its own SPC, army commander, police inspector general. How can an army grow when it's changing generals like shooters? And now when you the safe and get political, you blame them. No, blame yourself for politicizing the people's savings. Statements, I say, be strong, my brothers and sisters. Refuse to be puppets of politicians who, in most times, have too little education to tell you wisdom. I'm still waiting for unity. I look forward to hear the president, John Tembo, and Chakupa speaking in one voice like this. I want to hear John Tembo saying this word again. I'm so waiting for Mr. Chakupa's hand and speak in one voice like this. Let's be praised. Ja, Rastafari. 